It is that time of year again, Low Budget TV bringing it to you. It is the Budweiser Nationals, the big Nationals event taking place in Oildale, California. Tommy Bakersfield Speedway American Stocks, the first heat race of the Nationals. You got to be excited. Oh, absolutely. And it's the division that only races here tonight. After tonight, they go on rest for the rest of the offseason until March of next year. Jeffrey, who's in this one? Starting on the front row. The number 35 machine that is Johnny Wood if he could. Two is outside the number one eye of Brock Crawford. Row number two gives us the 99 machine driven by Don Mead. And to Don's outside the 21 RRR, he's a pirate, of Roger Welch. Row number three, the 44 of Brian Childress. And the number 11 of Cody Johnson rounding out the field, the 99Z of Steve Johnson. We are racing at the Budweiser Nationals. October 10th is green. Is it a surprise that we already got one smoking? Is it a surprise that there's yellow cars in this field? Four. There's four yellow cars in this field. That's the biggest stat we're going to have all heat race. You might as well go watch another video. This <laughs> exactly. And the, car that's your smoking, leader, that's the car that's smoking is putting on his uh, smoke screen superhero effect. It's working for Brock Crawford in the one eye. Side by side action behind, way behind the pack. Cody Johnson going to slip to the rear. Now Childress to the inside of Welch and a battle for a second with me to the inside of Wood. Jeffrey, it looks like we're back to having two Don Mead lookalike cars. Yeah, I say so. Don uh, was very adamant about getting rid of the first one to the point where I think it was nicknamed 99B. Yeah. Except if you I look closer, there was a, an ITCH, yeah. So. <laughs> You know what? Working out for Brock Crawford. That thing is increasingly more smoke, but some of these cars run better that way. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know they're running. I, that worries me a little bit, Tommy, though. That's a lot of excessive smoke. It's actually growing, and that's what you don't want to see. Yeah, you, I mean, because you would want your night to end at this point. It's the first race of a two-day show, except for these guys. It's, yeah, tonight is their one-day show. In second spot, Don Mead in the 99. He is getting a great look at all this smoke going up. Look Johnny at this. Wood holds on to the third spot. And then a big pack behind him. Welch now getting pressure on the outside from the 99Z of Steve Johnson. He's going to slip back behind lap number five of eight. All of these heat races tonight will be eight laps. And except for the American Sox, we will be talking about transferring to the main. All cars transfer into American stocks, which is good. Well, it's a good thing that the leader <laughs> can't see out of his other eye. Or maybe not. I don't know. Is They're that why his number's one eye? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, white flag is in the air for the smokestack himself, Brock Crawford. You know, that'd be a pretty cool story if he named his car number after his... Uh, visual impairment or not. Yeah. To have a driver racing with one eye is pretty spectacular. I can't even do it with two, lot, two eyes. <laughs> well, checkered flag for Brock Crawford in the one eye machine. It's the 99 of Meade and then a kind of a stack up at the end there. But Johnny Wood holds on to third. Now, Tommy, you're talking a little bit about our winner in this first heat race. Wait a minute. I want to talk about this checkered flag. What is up with that? Uh, well, if I had to guess, what month is it? October. And what month is Awareness Month? Breast Cancer Awareness. Pink. So very, so very cool for Bakersfield Speedway mm -hmm. to change up the checkered flag. Yeah. I think that's going to be a trend we're going to see all across the board in racetracks. Now, Tommy, Brock Crawford. Yep. You're, you're talking about the eye. Maybe fill people in a little bit more on that. What do you mean? I don't know. Is he blind? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about Brock uh, Crawford today. Other than that, as his number, I was you had me convinced that he was driving with an iPad. I think I think I have me convinced as well. Oh. Up next, he raised number two for the American Stocks. Here we go. He raced number two for the American Stocks. So let's go through the field in this one. The seven X of Rhett Spillers to his outside. The number three of Brandon Ratcliffe. The number ten to inside row number two, Trevor Baker. Chris Settlemeyer in the 84, the 59 Mike Hill Jr., Tracy Childress in the 17, we go green, and Miranda Dotson in the M74 or 74M, depending on which side you look on that car. Oh boy, we're going to go four wide. Four wide out of turn number three wide, leading four wide through the back of the pack. Settlemeyer making a run to the inside of Ratcliffe. Look at this, look at this pack. Oh, oh boy, contact. 
Johnson storming through. And you do not want your night, you do not want your nationals event. A lot of these drivers are locals, Tommy. You don't want it to end in the heat race. Exactly. Miranda Dodson starting dead last up to third in this one. She is on a charge. Uh-oh, trouble for the number 10 machine, Tommy. Looks like it either shut off or maybe yeah. a problem with steering. I'm not too sure. It looks like both wheels are pointed straight. Could be a uh, mechanical issue in the drive line, but the number 10 of Baker off into the infield. Battle for the lead. Turns number three and four. Who's going to be the leader on this lap? It is backlift by a bumper. Oh, Contact. And, uh, I think Settlemeyer is going to try to get rid of that bumper. And Ratcliffe goes up into the loose stuff. He, he didn't have a choice. Back. He yeah. did not have a choice. Uh -uh. Heavy car and gravity didn't allow him to stay in the preferred line. So Settlemeyer will take the top spot here on lap number four. Mike Hill Jr. in the 59 machine just picked up a spot over Spillers. He's actually going to be doing double duty this weekend, also racing in the hobby stocks in his 59 yeah, we've, machine. We've seen him pick up the hobby stock a little bit here and there, Santa Maria, here at Bakersfield Speedway. Closing in on Tracy Childress, number 17. Tracy had an interesting opening lap. She had to stomp on the brakes to avoid from getting taken into the wall by Miranda Dodson. I'm a Just little surprised that this race did stay green with that car on the apron. It is a very difficult spot for something big to happen in that area, but uh, it can't happen. It can't happen. Lap number six on the board, two laps to go. Chris Settlemeyer taking the lead from Ratcliffe early on in this one. Settlemeyer's car is pushing there, you see. Opening up the rules a little bit, the American Stocks usually um, have this during the Budweiser Nationals. No points, which means you can open up the rules. On a regular season, drivers do not have the option to have a rear spoiler, but this race, you can. And it looks like Settlemeyer is going to win with the rear spoiler. Checkered flag. I'm going to keep an eye on that. Maybe that helps a little bit or maybe not. I think, you know, it helps uh, Red Spiller. What's that? He has a taco sponsor. Well, that would help anybody. And I think they will. Heat race number three getting ready to go on Budweiser National Weekend. It's the Friday. We're going to get this one going. The last heat race that we're expecting to see for the American Stocks tonight. The 72 starting on the front row. That's Tyler Irwin to Tyler's outside. This is number 22K of Kevin Johnston. 86, that's Mike Waters starting row number two into his outside, the 27 of Tara Childress. Starting fifth on the field is number one of Scott Kaysen and the 15B, D, 15D. That's right. It's not 15B of Brad Pounds, it's 15D of Dakota Brown. Okay. And the 55 of Brian Bartlett rounding out the field. Green flag is in the air. And contact already. Oh, really? And contact more. And we're sprecking for first place right now. Oh, boy. They're turning into each other. Three wide for second. Kaysen with a huge run down the back straightaway. It's American stocks. It is. There's a reason that this is... One of our all-time favorite divisions ever. I wonder. I wonder if we'd even make it to day number two. Oh if this boy! Two-day race. Johnson now to the inside of Irwin. They already got into it once. I don't think Johnson's going to cut him much slack. Oh, he's going to get loose out of four. We have 21 cars on our lineup for tonight for the American Stock Race. If you're interested in seeing DVDs, look at the information in the description. Everything broken down, but you can contact us on our Facebook page or email us at LBTV. What's the rest of it, Tommy? <laughs> Mail at Yahoo.com. That one. Look at Waters. Whoa. He's going for it right now. Three wide for the lead down the back straightaway. Oh! Boy. I thought they were stuck there for a second. They might have been. Waters wants this win, Tommy. He's on the bumper of Irwin. Irwin's going to have to muscle his way to win this one if he has to. He's been <laughs> bounced around by a couple of competitors this entire heat race. Three wide behind him. It's Dakota Brown in the middle. Bartlett in the 55. He's trying to make up some ground. Cars from Porterville. We like Porterville. Some contact down the front straightaway. 
But Johnson now in the 22K is running away with it. To show how this heat race has been. Oh boy. Oh boy, to show how it's gonna be. <laughs> your leader is losing his fender. Yeah. That's how crazy this heat race has been. There's been a lot of contact in the mid-pack of the, well, in the front and mid-pack. The only safe car in this race is the 27 of Tara Children's. She might win it at this rate. Dakota Brown taking over a spot from Tyler Irwin. I don't know if Irwin's driving upset or if that car isn't happy. It's not happy. It's for sale. Well, that'll do it then. That would do it. White flag is in the air for the field of seven racing machines. And out of turn number four, it's going to be Kevin Johnson taking away the victory in the 30 race for the American Sox. Their one main event is going to be tonight. You can catch it all. Every lap of all the main event action on Low Budget TV DVDs. Now, Tommy, you're keeping an eye on Irwin right now. He's a... Uh, Coming to a stop over in turn number two. Uh huh. You might be going to turn on our wall cam. Appreciate that. Thank you, Tyler. He's a good guy. No, that car might be having some issues here. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on uh, everything that's going on there. Of course, updates to come during main events. It's time for the IMCA Modifieds A Mods on track for their first heat race. And we have 42 strong entered into this weekend's Budweiser Nationals. Day one of two for the Modifieds. How about we go through the starting lineup, Jeffrey? Thing to remember, anybody watching right now, what you got to look out for and what we're going to look out for, top three transfer and go directly to the A main. The rest have to fight through the B. Number two, driven by Danny Lauer, starts on the top spot to the outside, the number 24, Roger Holder. Second row inside is the number two H of Bobby Hoke IV, and the 101 of Randall Davis changing up his paint scheme. The 5B, that is driven by Sean Calderwood, one of, I think, five five cars. The 07X, yes. Troy Morris Jr., the 77, Cole Dick, the 22D of Ryan Dave, the 98, Alex Stanford, the number 91P machine, or EDJ is what we're used to saying. E EPJ. EPJ, my bad. Earl Pearson Jr., that makes sense. And rounding out the field, the 9 X Chet Reeves, heat race number one for the AMOD. To the early lead. Four wide. Davis stuck on the high side. He's getting freight trained. Three wide right there in the middle of the pack. Calderwood in the middle. And they sort it all out. I'm holding my breath. Oh, me too. I don't know what to say. I'm letting them speak for me. Battle for the second spot. Oh, trouble! Stanford getting into the back of Cole Dick. Cole Dick had to step on the breaker. Bad. This could be worse. That could be, yeah, because the right front of Reeves is literally stuck up under the hood of Errol Pearson Jr. Alex Stanford, you saw him get collected in that. He actually went airborne a little bit off of the left front of Chet Reeves. Yeah, last time we saw Stanford, Tommy, he was dominating that Chowchilla. Well, he's got a door falling off here in Bakersfield. And it looks like, you know... Considering the amount of damage that could have happened, we might have to just get him unstuck and uh, get him ready to go racing again. We'll find out. Restart lap four up ahead. Yeah, I was just gonna. Chet Reeves is about to restart with a flat left front tire. Dedication. Earl Pearson Jr. getting towed off that car. The left front four up, which is no surprise.
up in that B main tonight. At least. We don't know if anyone else showed up. 42 strong for the IMC modified. Lauer taking the white flag as well as the rest of the field. Through turns number three and four, the number two, Danny Lauer. Checker flag. Oak finishing second and Roger Holder get into the A main event. The rest have to fight their way through in the B main. Just the first of four heat races. Oh. It is now time to get ready for our second heat race. IMCA modifieds, they call them A mods across the country. And Dale and Coffee are going to start on the front row in his number 55 machine to his outside. It's the number 11. We have four number 11s in the field tonight. That'd be Eric Hamilton. That is the 11H. Behind him. The number 11, and I have to actually look, 11XX, Kyle Heckman, our champion in this division. And for some reason, he's not driving double zero. Yeah, I'm a little bummed about that, but yeah. whatever, Kyle. And to his outside, the number 40 machine of Joe Wapsis. Row number three gives us the 18 of Cody Barnett and the S Superman car of Colin Weinbarger. Then we have the 24 machine. Some tells me we're not going green. No, Tommy. It's because we're not done with the starting lineup. Calm down. So one thing that uh, we're doing here on Low Budget TV, again, there are so many cars that arrived today that I believe, Tommy, is that the 124? That is the outlaw, Rick Childress Jr. All right, I was making sure no one just snuck in. The 23 is Chris Crump, the number five machine. And again, there are five number fives. That is Brett Bennett. To his outside, the number 13X machine, driven by Danny O'Keefe. And rounding out the field, the number 15 machine did not make it onto the starting lineup. But it'd be the 15E of Phil Eagleston. Phil is a... Best known with Low Budget TV for being really excited in Porterville. That's true. He wasn't the only one that drove it off track. No. But he did it in Holland. We go green. And a much better start. Coffee is enjoying that start. He takes the lead going into turn one. And a bit of a stack up. It turns number two. He has some contact, but everyone keeps it going. Oh, the 24. Childress, the outlaw, takes out the car. Getting ready for our next heat race, the IMCA modified to the Budweiser Nationals. Again, if you people are looking for the main events, we are selling DVDs of the entire night of action, the entire weekend of action. Let's go through the cars on track here. This one, the 11X, that is driven by Tim Berry Jr. He's gonna lead lap number one. 10 and Rob Sanders and the 14B. Battling it out, the 14B, Stephen Bowles, 15B, Brad Pound, who is out of the A main as they run. The 51B, Brian Clark, the 11, driven by R.C. Whitwell back in behind that machine, or 
Jeffrey, it's our first time seeing Tom Perry Jr. out here, and he's leading this one. White flag is out. That looks like a shrunken modifier. Yeah, it looks like half of the size of the rest of these cars. I honestly think they just trimmed up the back of the body, but whatever it's doing, it's working. Checker flag for Tom Berry Jr. Sanders and Towns go into the A main, and the rest, oh, that could have been big. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Go to the B main event. So after that contact, Steve Bowles, that car is just not loving life right now. Nope. Heat number three, up next. Getting ready to go racing this Friday night at Budweiser Nationals. Next heat race up, IMCA Modifieds, and it is the 198 machine of Robbie Sawyer. Leading us away, the 69S has some contact in the back. Ooh, the 69S gets into the wall and gets away with it. You do not see that every day. I figured it'd be the eight car getting into the wall in the back. was going to go around. Jeez Louise. That is heat race action at Bakersfield Speedway. Hey, you got a B main and an A main. Look at that right rear flat tire for Whitworth. We're talking about holding on. He caught it. He, I believe that came when he came across the line. And he tapped that wall. Heat race number one for the late models. Getting ready to go for their two-day Budweiser National appearance. On the pole, the number 5X, that would be Dino Napier to his outside. Rob Sanders pulling double duty, running the modified and play model. The number five machine driven by Randy King Kong Court. Randy King Kong slipping out of the spot that he was in. Now he's in fifth in the five car. The 21 machine that is driven by Steve Moore and rounding out the field the number oh Sanders backing way up in that corner Tommy Malcolm in the 75 had to really hit the brakes and then actually spun out the 5x of his teammate Dino Napier rounding out the field the number 22 G of Paul Guglimoni here we go for the restart lap number two Napier pulling it off the track. That might be the one and done policy playing into effect. Oh, some contact in the turn of one. Moore and Court. Making some contact going into the corner. And there's... Man, what a bounce. That 21 car was hopping and bouncing in turn number four. 
So Steve Moore having some issues here. second that Bartels is going over. I don't know if you had that feeling. But the way the car started to pick up. Yeah. But like you said, Jeffrey, mostly cosmetic. And it looks like these cars might be able to continue. Uh, also in the field, the 27 of Nick Bartels. The, and I love this car because I think it's transponder is literally no number. But it is the S. Superman. S of Colin Weinberger. Uh, the 91P, Tommy, whenever I say this guy's last name, I feel like I'm talking about something like a food that I didn't want to eat when I was a kid. Jason Pappage. But it says 91T on the card. So now you're thinking of the other. You're thinking of breakfast now. Now I'm thinking of breakfast. You got me. That looked like a P from the other side. No, I'll, I'll talk to Tony about this. They are giving the black flag to Bill Bartels, the one and done roll. And rounding out the field, the 28G of Car Clark Guglamoni. Yes. That's why there's two Gs. I, I don't know why there's two Gs, but I figured I'd try. Dang. Green flag in the air. Restart. Lap number one. Transfer spot is the third place. Battle that we see right now. Forgot to pack his bag. Nick Bartels, our leader in the 27 machine, Kyle Griffith, holds on to the second spot after that moment he had just two laps ago. Then it's Weinbarger, Superman, in, in the third position, the transfer spot. And around goes, almost goes, Clark Kukumoni. He uh, called me a liar. Tony Toast. 
as well as Bill Bartels in the B main. Here we go for the, I believe the third. Wow, time's flying right now. Late model heat race, starting on the top spot, the 17 of Lightning Larry Childress to his outside the number 18 machine. Welcome back, Cody Barnett. Barnett, I should say. We go green. Richard Pappenhausen in the 4P, the 29, Andy Overtello, the number one, and Mike Corwin, three wide for the lead for a split second. And a battle for the transfer spot. Chad Rickenback in the nine, in the C9. You see? Rickenback had a bad start. Kind of had a bottleneck situation, and it caused him to lose the track. number four of four for the late model division here tonight the Budweiser Nationals eight laps of action ahead for these drivers and green flag is out number 13 car there that started on the pole that is Bryson James and contact the number three machine sitting in second is Anthony Pombo then you got look at this move the number seven of Cody Laney taking over second spot. Cody Laney, Jeffrey, one. only doing late model racing for the Bud National. Yes, these uh, modified is in the race, but Carlos driving it. Getting readjusted here. I believe we're going to be on XN TV soon. And do you know who's in the 1P machine, Tommy? I would guess. Let me guess here for a second. Uh, Steve Park. Brad Pound. Oh, my bad. And he just took the lead. <laughs> the Dominator, back into the late model. Rounding out the field the 13B of Tony Brakeall. So again, your top three transfer. Right now you have Pounds, Laney, and Pombo. Then you have both number 13 machines trying to get lucky tonight. And one of them might do it. Pombo slipping back. And the number 13 machine closing in. James in the 13 machine. halfway in this heat race. Reminder for everyone watching, if you're interested in seeing the main events, my goodness, we couldn't tell you how exciting it's going to be, even though we haven't seen it yet, because it's probably going to be really exciting. You know what I mean? Amen. You got that. <laughs> you got to get a DVD of the main event of tonight, because it is just going to be outrageous racing both nights. We have a special offer for Nationals events. All those details will be in the description that you can see right below this video on YouTube. The one P Brad Pound is going to come out of turn number four off the late models. He's going to take the win in this one. And Pombo's coming all the way back. Now behind Brakel. That car seems like it had a bit of a handling issue these last couple that, of laps. That car was fast and qualifying from what I saw, so interesting to see the three car fall off like that. Well, Low Budget TV bringing you the heat race action. Thank you all for watching us on YouTube. Pounds, I think, is just going to do some donuts. No, maybe not. He's probably so used to pulling in the infield or something.
Uh, hobby stocks up next. Oh no. He raced number one for the hobby stocks here at Bakersfield Speedway, Bud Nationals. Oh boy. And I believe this is a combined one day show between two days. If I have the information correct, that's how they usually do it. So yeah, this is they have he two. races tonight, main event tomorrow, and exactly. main. Top three transfer. Ryan Smith in the 15 leads the field to the green. The four bone Skyler getting some help by the 711 of Raymond Nolan to turn number one. The 52 Perry Alderman, the T73. That is Richard Green, the 77 pushing him into turn number three. That is. Mike Bully, David Nunley in the 82 slips back to last place, Steven Johnson in the 26, the 41 of Tim Delsa Jr. Lap number one, what an exciting one already. Battle for the lead, Nolan and Skyler. It'll be Nolan leading the field to the second lap. Nunley almost spinning it out out of turn four. That car not handling the way it, it would be like to be handled. If I made any sense right there. Battle for the second spot, Skyler and Smith. That is the cars that are going to the A main event. Perry Aldman lead. Oh boy, three wide into turn number three. The pack of the B main bombers. Three wide. Oh, Tommy! Trouble for the 26 of Steven Johnson. Did he? I heard a pop. Did he pop a tire? No. Or could that, that be... That was not a tire pop. Motor. Oh, we're still wrecking over here. Okay. We're still racing, I should say. That sounded... That car just cut off really fast, really quickly. And that could be a driveline related issue. It's probably the GoPro. Steven Johnson. Yeah, too much weight. Tommy, why is that such a big deal? Talk because, about champions. Yeah, absolutely. Steven Johnson always one to look out for here on any Saturday night at Bakersfield Speedway. I guess Fridays are just not his night. Hey, look at this car that's pulling off. That, that's the backup car for Steven Johnson. Good. All right. Here we go for the restart lap number four. Halfway through this heat race. The 7-Eleven Raymond Nolan. If you... Finish up, watch, if you finish watching the heat races, you have to type on YouTube in the search bar, tire remounts itself, and you will see Raymond Nolan. Uh-oh. Smith sideways, Skyler getting collected. Perry Alderman does a great job of avoiding the wall. I've never seen a car lock its brakes that hard. Raymond Nolan having a really good heat race so far. And what I was going to say is Raymond Nolan, the star of that video of here at Bakersfield Speedway, the tire remounting himself. We're going to try this one a lap later. Restart lap number five. How about Richard Green right now in a transfer spot in that T73? This race last year was the first time we'd ever met Richard Green. He's in the second spot and making his way into the A main as he runs. And yeah, Tommy, I think it's worth mentioning that Richard Green bought a DVD from us before racing even happened. He had contact from Michael Bully. Before racing even happened. And he was he knocked did. out of the C main he, event. Yeah. But, but my see, goodness, did we cover him well in that C main? But that's how much these DVDs that you can purchase on a whole bunch of TV can help you. I mean, Richard Green. Nunley with trouble. I'm kidding, folks. But we can thank each and every one of you for watching us yeah. on all outlets that we can provide. Checkered flag for the 7-Eleven Raymond Nolan. Richard Green second, Bully third, ah. Delsit, ah. Skyler, and Alderman's going to miss the parking curves and finish. The race. Hey, that was a good race for uh, Porterville. That was. That represented itself. Yeah. Seven cars. He raced number two for the Hobby Stocks. Starting on the front row, the number four X machine of Bobby Quinton to his outside, the 123 of Dylan Hager. Row number two gives us the 04 of Austin Manzella. No, I lied. It's Melissa Manzella. Oh. Yep. And to Melissa's outside is. The 91. 91 driven by Marcus Wonkum. 
The number seven machine is Kyle Fife, 18 of Kevin Collier, and rounding out the field, the 32 of Jesse Bowles. Green flag is in the air and contact. It's Already. hobby stuff. It's hobby stocks. It is. Top three transfer to the main. Everyone else is going to have a rough night, and we're going to send a car hard into the wall. Two of them go hard into the wall. Marcus Zero Wonka. for Melissa Manzella and the 91 machine of Marcus Wonkum. Leave Marcus to the harder hit. He got that car refired. Let's see how much damage on the right that front. That car's going to be hurting. Yeah. But he might, he might contribute more hurting to other drivers. If that one looked like it hurt. You can just see with the speed they, they were carrying into turn three that those cars weren't going to blow up in time. Well, here we go. Restart full. No, restart lap number one. Getting ready to restart this one. Bobby Quinton leading the field. We are green. Hager in the second spot. Getting some pressure. Kevin Collier. Collier's going to make a run to the inside. Battle for second. Five in the seven. Trying to work his way up into the top three. That'll ensure him to go straight to the A main event. Hager slips back to third. 32 machine. Jesse Bowles returning back. Two machine is smoking and it's actually picking up now. Not what you want to see in the heat races. Manzel in the 04. Continuing after that crash. Oh, Quinton slides wide. Here comes Collier. Battle for the lead. In this hobby stock heat race. Quinn's going to hold on to it. Lap number five up on the scoreboard. Three laps to go. So the race is for the lead. And to see if Fife can close in on, close in on the 123 machine. for the lead is brewing up slowly but surely white flag is in the air lap number seven on the board Quinton goes up and over the cushion here comes Collier can Collier do anything out of turn number four nope Bobby Quinton will take the heat race win Collier a close second Hager Fife Bowles and Manzella Heat. Another heat race out here for the hobby stocks. Good field racing. This two day show, Budweiser National 29th Annual Budweiser Nationals. Ryan Bledsaw will lead the field to the green, the 2X, Jimmy the Shoe Irwin, Robert Swearingen in the 33, the number 59, Mike Hill Jr., the 44 of Rick Childress Sr., the double zero, Matt Dockstater, Matt Hagio in the 14H, and Christy Shearer in the 73. We go green. Top three transfer, remember that. So it's a battle transfer spot with some contact. Bledsaw spinning out and taking with him Swearingen. So Rick Childress Sr. inherits the third spot. Christy Shearer in the 73 fourth. Hagio and Doc Sater. So Bledsaw and Swearingen can have a lot of work to do. Senior, Rick Childress. We go yellow. If it leaves for debris, if I were to guess, over 
in turn number two. We got a looks to be a quarter pen from the 33. Robert swearing it. Getting ready to restart this one. Lap number four. The slow, creepy, crawly restart. And we are green. Some strategy being played there by this shoe. Give me the shoe, where we? So this restart could help Bledsaw and Swearingen if they close in to the top three at all. Avoided that. Battle for the second spot. Matt Hagio in that 14 inch now jumping the cushion. White flag in the air. Jimmy the Shoe Irwin. Second spot, who's it gonna be? Jimmy the Shoe Irwin takes the win. Second spot will go to the 59, Mike Hill Jr. Children's third, Aggie fourth. I believe this is the final heat race for the Hobby Stocks on track. We go green. Colby Quinton in the 94 and Brent Hosfeld in the 12H. Key in the 21K, making it three wide for the lead. Jeffrey, who else is in this one? Well, we saw some trouble early in the last heat race. They made it through turn two, but oh boy, is it getting tight through turns three and four. Stewart gonna go into the wall. And by wall, I mean tire, but he's stuck. So, what difference does it make, huh? Uh, who did you announce? I know the 12K, Hosfeld, our leader, Mark Key in the 21K. Aaron Stewart's not happy. He's not a happy man. I, I can imagine. Lap, uh, it, he made it three quarters of a lap in the Nationals to have trouble. Um, I announced Mark Key, and then now you can announce the rest. Well, we have Colby Quinton in the 94th, Already Kevin Irwin in the 2Z, the Johnny McKinley machine of the number 70. Driver of the number 70. Oh, I think I know who he doesn't like right now. Aaron Stewart's not happy. Oh, he's definitely not. Um, we also have Matt Wonkum in the 56 and Johnny Bettingfield in the 7K. So Matt Wonkum needs to better his brother in the heat races because his brother, Marcus, getting towed off with a major right front contact into the wall. Here we go for the restart, lap number one. Hosfeld's going to lead the field, Key and Quinton. Transfer spot is the third one. The bumper being placed. Oh, in trouble. Looked like he maybe he is off the pace in the 21K machine after being in the transfer spot. This is bad luck. He is done for this heat race, which means he goes to the B main tomorrow night. Don't see anything visibly wrong with the car. Maybe he just got tired. How to feel? That's true. This time by, that'll be halfway for Hosfeld in the 12H machine. Colby Quinton having to uh, make up some ground after the start of this heat race. Now he's going to have to deal with the front bumper of Kevin Irwin. Wonkum closing into that 2X machine. Matt Wonkum in the 56. He's a winner this year in the Hobby Stocks. And yeah, this is a battle for the transfer spot. Wonkum closing in on Irwin. Irwin is going to slide it and he's going to lose a spot. Well, uh, maybe. Uh, I think Wonkum's going to make sure he loses the spot. That car's all over the place. Yeah, it is. The handling going away on that 2X with a driver. The 2Z. Oh, oh, here we go. Down the front straight away for the transfer spot. You think this is a joke, ladies and gentlemen? This is for the transfer 
spot. You heard the tire pop out of turn number four, and they finished it off going into turn number one. Do you think this is a joke? <laughs> I thought you were joking there for a second. Wow. wow. Well, Irwin, early exit. Bettingfield now in the transfer spot. Good for Bettingfield. I mean, he's just kind of watching the whole thing in front of him. It's been a tough night to be a Wonkum. Yes. Yeah, you heard that tire pop go bam. That might have been uh, <laughs> that might have been his temper at that point. That's true. I just like my description of a tire pop. <laughs> Here we go for the restart. Lap number seven. Only three cars left on the track. Go green. So I'm pretty sure we know who's going to make it and who's not. Tommy, sometimes it's more about driving smart that'll get you into an A-Main event. My goodness, a lot of aggressive driving, but hey, it's Bud Nationals. It's, yeah, exactly. Only one of them a year. White flag in the air. Checkered. That was the checkered. I wasn't paying attention. Just like I always do. That's good. That's good. Getting ready for the first heat race for the Sport Mods. James Cecil and Levi Kiefer lead us into turn number one. Tina McGowan in the 32 machine. In the transfer number three spot, these drivers also only have one main event this weekend, and it's tomorrow night. He raced with Levi Kiefer, Childress, and Cecil in the transfer spot. Tina McGowan in the 32, Larimer in the 47, Edgerson in the 28. What do they have for it? Oh, Cecil with a little bit of a bobble, and a little, I mean, a massive bobble out of turn number two. Tina McGowan moves into a transfer spot. Larimer has trouble. And everyone makes it by. No caution is going to come out, and Cecil with also an issue. Looks like definite suspension in the right rear problems. Checkered flag for Kiefer, Childress, and McGowan, your transfers. And Cecil was just two laps away. Realistically, a lap and a quarter from making it, but look at this car. Lost something, it looks like, in the right rear. Bummer for Cecil, but he'll be back tomorrow. All right, folks, he race number two. A lot of great sparks coming out of the 74 point Dawson. We're racing. See how this one sorts itself out. You see Lee Jensen way on the inside. He actually played the national anthem today on a guitar he won last year in the Bud National. Pretty special to see how that came full circle. Fred Ryland currently leading this one away in his number seven machine, but oh, we got one around. That's a 174 of Ethan Dotson looking to take over the lead. He does take it. Now Lee Jensen in the last transfer spot. Chasing him down though, the 74 of Wayne Dotson. The 97, that's Gary Dutton. Used to seeing him in a street stock. Trouble for the number four. I believe that's Jernigan. Jensen just got to the wall and 
right now. Spinning it out in turn number two. Was the 83 driven by Jake Hurley, or Jack Hurley, excuse me. Uh, it looks like some conversation happening back here between some drivers. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the 18 of Chris Harrington. And again, Jernigan in the number four machine having a wild run. But unfortunately, with a left rear flat tire, the 5A. Boston Fry already sitting in the infield. That is a B main run coming for Fry. All right. Race time. I've been lying this whole time. It's Bruce Nelson in the 4B. I just I missed the B part of the 4. So the battle for the transfer spot. That's Lee Jensen who just moved back into it. Nelson pulls into the infield. Something hanging from the rear of his car. And the aggression picks up. Oh boy, Dutton and Dotson are having one heck of a show right now. Dotson's gonna spin it out, take the tire out, take it with him. Next time by is gonna be the white flag. A wild ride for Wild Wayne Dotson. Ethan Dodson, on the other hand, leading away. Having a really strong run out here. The battle for the transfer spot. Fred Ryland just lost it to Gary Dutton. So Ethan Dodson wins the heat race. Lee Jensen transfers as well as Gary Dutton to the A-Main event happening tomorrow night. Oh boy. All right, getting ready for he race number three. I believe three of four for these drivers again. Third place on up transfers. This is Garrett Jernigan, the number four that I was pretending was in the last race. He's gonna start on the front row, 117. Tim Paddock on his outside. Kale King getting the 33, and we're climbing each other right at the beginning of this one, still stuck. That's the 51 of Chris Griffith and the 93 machine of Tim Buley. That is early trouble, not what you want to see on a Nationals event. When you're behind the wheel, the number 20 machine in the field, that is Kevin Johnson. The number five, it looks like it just came from uh, Home Depot. I don't know why I was thinking Home Depot, but I certainly am. The number five machine, that would be Jeremy Hoff and the 63 car in the field. That rounds the field up with Aaron Farrell. Now, Griffith is already pulling off the track. Buley, who knows what kind of trouble that car is going to have. But this will be a full restart for the third heat race of the Sport Mods. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we will have DVDs of the entire weekend of racing. And uh, <laughs> there's no telling what we're going to see on a night like tonight, on a weekend like this one. Beautiful weather gracing us here in Southern California in the Bakersfield area. And I'm so excited for this event. Every year we have Bud Nationals circled on our calendar. And here we are once again, 2014, the 29th annual, I believe, Budweiser Nationals. All right. Now we'll begin the one to go this time by. The pearl that green flag in the hand of our flagman, Doug Ryan. We call him Wiggles around here, indicating we will be going back to racing next time by. We have complete loose charts. Uh, 63 cars for sale for anyone that's uh, interested. So Hoff in the five machine. And the 63. His number is placed on his car, but now looking at it, you're from the Budweiser Tower. Fair and Farrell. That's one of the fun parts about uh, these nationals is you get used to even more drivers being on out here. Good stuff. This is the first of a couple nationals events that we'll be covering on a bunch of TV. Green flag is in the air. And we're racing. And Kanky, I'm sorry, Kanky's doing fine. Farrell is the 63 machine that there on the start of the race. Kanky right now looking for the lead, however, on Jernigan. Battle for the transfer spot is a quiet one. Kevin Johnson has a Kanky way sideways out of turn four. Finding the wall. And oh man, Paddock holding on to it in the 117. Kevin Johnson is actually now moving in to uh, trying to move into the second spot. Farrell spins out over turns three and four. And this will bring out another caution in this race. Big 
backfire coming out of the 63 car. So, we'll try this one again. Lap number three. The restart is up next. All right, Kanky, your leader. That 33 machine. Not a great start for Jernigan. In fact, Jernigan with trouble, and that's going to cause him to fall out of the transfer spot. He was in second. Cruz Griffith now moves into a potential transfer spot. Where he needs to be, but the four car did not pull off track. Is stopped over in the berm of turn three. That could bring out a yellow. We're only just past the halfway point of this heat race. It's been a long one. Evan Johnson trying to hold off. Griffith, 51. Jeremy Hoff in the five, the first car out of the A main event. And Tim Paddock in the 117. Right now, those two drivers will be facing the B main event tomorrow night, October 11th, 2014, at Bakersfield Speed. The four car sitting right over here in turn three. They did not throw the yellow for that. Kel Kanke having a very strong heat race, a good start to his Budweiser National Weekend here. And through turns three and four, the 33, Kel Kanke gonna win it. He's looking good for the A main event tomorrow night. I believe we have one last heat race for the Friday edition of Budweiser Nationals. And this is it, the final heat race of Friday, Budweiser Nationals. 9J of Jordan Hager and the 74SR of Sean Ritter gonna lead us away on the front row. Green flag is in the air. Eight cars, eight laps, and it was ugly. But we made it. <laughs> Holy cow, that's gonna send Jared Schweitzer, the three machine around after some contact. Trying to get it going. Yellow flag is out. That was a ugly start, and it just gets worse. Ritter spins out over in turns one and two. He might get a spot back. Granted that the yellow flag was long out before he spun. Also in this field, Kyle Griffith in the 84, the 83 of Jason Nation, the 5K of Brenda Kirby, the 23M of Marvin Lease the Beast, and the 89M of Michael Black. And take two, full restart for the fourth heat race of the Sport Modifieds. Green flag in the air, racing. A reminder for everybody interested, if you race this night or you want to see the whole night full of action, we have DVDs available. Check the description for all the details. And contact Griffith is in the wall pretty hard. Keeps it going. And now contact. Now he's probably driving angry. He was in a transfer spot. The battle for the transfer spot is on. The 83 of Jason Nation. The 23 of the white car there with contact is going for the transfer spot. Griffith also in the mix to make a transfer. Jordan Hager, he's in second. He wants to hold on to the spot. 9J. Oh, Nation with trouble. That's going to send Marvin Lees up in the air just a bit. Nation back underway, but now the, the battle continues on for the transfer spot. Between now Griffith and Lees, how about Michael Black in the mix? Black in that yellow 89 in machine. He sits in the fifth spot. Nation trying to regain positions in his 83 car. He's going to the outside of Nation. Yo, man, that <laughs> Marvin Lees car car poppy on track, not sure who that was. But at least looked like he got some air out of turn number four. He's gonna keep it going. And Kyle Griffith in the 84G. Back in the transfer spot after almost taking down the wall. And more contact between these two. <laughs> Some of these drivers at this point are probably driving angry. You think? I don't know, I just, it's a guess. But these two have been slamming into each other. 
watching Low Budget TV. We will have more action in just a bit with more heat races from Saturday's show of the Budweiser Nationals. Thank you for watching Rivalries on the racetrack. And thank you even more for watching Low Budget TV. I think Lee just broke his car. I think he just broke it. Now his budget.